Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. <laughs> What's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarian for the end of August 2019? <laughs> Y'all showed y'all ass in the <laughs> As always, what's new? <laughs> Did you miss me? Because I missed you. I know I'm a little dark today. That's all right. My lightness, I'm, I'm trying to work with it. My ass couldn't sleep. So I got up, covered up my nakedness, you know, decided I would bring you into the world of mocha and her feng shui. <laughs> this is all my little protection. Uh, Well, you know what? It's a mixture of a few things. This is one of my, um, one of my ancestor authors. Okay, um, y'all know, and y'all know as many levels to this shit. I can actually share this with clarity. And one second, let me cut down Hot Girl Summer. So I don't want to be tagging shit, and I don't want them flagging shit, all right? This first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell the call I say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right damn now. To find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Um, because me, I'm going to do that. And I still love you long time, baby. Um, if you're new to the family, you guys, welcome new subscribers, baby. Welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Positive vibes only. All right? You guys, if you are a returning subscriber, familia, what's popping? If, again, you, um, if you guys, this is, don't, it's not spirits and shit going on. You may hear a little drip, drip from the damn bathroom because I ain't feel like getting up, okay? And y'all saw me, uh, damn here because the damn toilet, I don't know. You know, the toilet may run, it may not. Do, do, do what the hell it want to do. Me, I go with the flow, baby. All right? So, with that said, uh, speaking of the flow, you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the support, the readings, the love. You guys, thank you from the most humblest space ever. This is not going to resonate with everybody, y'all, okay? Um, take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make that motherfucking shoe fit. If it's, if it's too big, your ass going to fall, all right? Don't try to make that motherfucker fit. It teaches on, all right? You guys, also, um, I was trying to see if I had any more announcements. I don't think so. I actually think that's about it. So we're going to rock right on into your intuitive messages. This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, I want to share something with you guys. Every time I get ready to do you and Aries reading, I always break a damn nail. So I went to the I went to the nail shop the other day, and I went to my favorite Aquarius's house, and her dog acted pretty weird, which is my baby, but... That day she didn't like she didn't like my yellow, okay? Um, cause she used to me seeing you know the dog used to see me wrapped up with my head and you know I come over there with a whole new attitude. She had one too, damn it. But I, I, long story short, I got some damn well. That said, broken nail would have been here earlier, but I had to get my nail fixed. Drove around to three different nail shops for one. Nail. I'm such airy. I could not wait till tomorrow. It had happened today. Now I see why. Cause I was gonna do the damn videos tomorrow, and you know what? I laid y'all cards out like twice yesterday. What I noticed is that the same damn cards kept coming out. That's one. Two, also, it was a sense of procrastination, you guys. In fact, on the way to my Aquarius' friend's house, you guys, I actually was uh, <laughs> over there. Just That was a part of the procrastination. I mean, literally, like, it's like I knew what I had to do. I was focused and pumped for what I had to do. But it was this aspect of... I get to it. I get to it. Oh and behold, boom, nail. So you know, yeah, it, 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 I, I definitely want. I felt the energy of there is an act. There's a reaction, or there's an action to every reaction. However the hell that goes, there's a reaction to every action. Some of you guys, there is this aspect of this transformative energy. And again, you know what you got to do, but there's this resistance aspect to it. All right, so we're going to get to your intuitive messages. I start reading y'all life now. You guys, I do have to set the timer. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm running out of damn space because I still got videos from June, from January and February of 2018, honey. So I got to go delete some shit because I deleted some. I was lazy about it, though. I deleted about 30 or 40 of them, just enough to make enough a room and yeah, I done ran out of that again. So y'all bear with me. I love you guys. I don't think Mocha loves you any less because I'm putting your ass on the time frame. All right. 
So the intuitive messages that you guys got for the end of August. We got ungrateful, resentful, time's up. Keep in mind, you guys, this could be your energy or the energy surrounding you. Victimized, procrastination, truth spoken, endings for beginnings, clarity, clarity through dreams, spiritual gifts, insomnia, respect, healthy boundaries, Harvest of the new. Just live your life. Fear of loneliness. Surrender. Speak up. Ego death. Confessions. Obsession. Financial increases. Front row seat. New understandings. Pride. Communication. Yeah, I'm still doing this, Aquarius. It's a lot. Lot in y'all in, in y'all damn heads. Stalking spouse. Recognizing cycles. Reconciliations. Admittance to rehab. Spiritual protection. Hidden blessings. Time's up. Okay. That's what I got for you guys. You guys, if that definitely did resonate, this message is for you. Overall energy around the reading for everybody else. They got one card. You guys actually got two. Okay. Um, and I, I even put them back, shuffle like about four or five times and then they fell back out. Okay. So this definitely is your message. Overall energy around the read, I got the ace of uh, spades. Okay. And I got the five of diamonds. For some of you all, this is about either you or another person resisting the changes that are needed to go into a healthy relationship or healthy partnership. I am here in family. I also heard renewal. Um, I also heard that I, I, I heard self sabotage. Somebody, you could be dealing with someone, either this could be you or another person, but I'm feeling the energy of someone resisting that that energy of transform, like that transformative energy that's trying to come in. Instead, they're choosing the choosing the aspect of like self-sabotaging. Someone really, instead of trying to beat yourself up with learning every damn thing on this journey, I've learned that it's best if we go back to unlearn all of the bullshit that we was taught. That makes us view ourselves as well as that makes us overextend ourselves to individuals who is not deserving of that. Or for that matter, for us to view ourselves less than that in which we actually deserve. It's like we tell ourselves, you know, some of you guys have this view of yourself that instead of reaching for that ace, that new new, it's like you guys want to stay in this space of familiarity of how you've known to be but spirit is saying if you want to get something different which is right at the end, knocking at your damn door something different something beautiful you're going to have to do something different do something that you've never ever done to get something that you've never ever had okay so your first angel message you guys got let's start this damn time we're gonna have a fit oh mocha you went longer i forgot and you guys got archangel zach hill Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas and then teach these ideas to others. Okay? For some of you all, this transformative energy that you're kind of going through, some of you all may find that you're, some of y'all may actually be spiritual advisors or you have the life path around it. Okay? For some of you all, you may find that people are coming to you a whole lot with their damn problems during this time. And it's, and for some of you all, for most 99% spirits say, all of y'all asses, you're noticing that the people who are coming to you with their problems, they're coming to you with the problems that you also need to resolve. It's kind of crazy how we turn into Dr. Phil for everybody else, Aquarius, okay? But for your own damn self, you're sitting stuck, not sleeping, ain't able to eat straight, ain't able to get your ass up and really function even though you know what you need to do. And you usually be a self-starter, but some of you guys are, y'all not on green, y'all on yellow. Let's get it. Others of you, this has to do with, I heard projection. Spirit is saying, before you point the finger at another person, understand that we are what we attract. So there is something within you that is still tied to the aspect, rather, rather, rather good or bad, of that individual. For some of you all, I heard selfish. Others of you all, I heard inconsiderate. And others of you all, I heard vulnerability. 
lack thereof. Okay, spirit is not on y'all. It's spirit on y'all asses tonight. Woke me up on my sleeve. I knew they had something to say. For some of you all, some of you all, this is about you. Act, some of y'all also may be studying during this time. Some of you all also may be thinking about going back to school as well, or actually be hearing some positive. We'll be hearing some positive news back from a school or back regarding a um a loan application or some type of some type of financial assistance as well around going back to school. There's definitely positive changes coming in during the end from now to the end of uh. August, okay? For some of you all, there may be some type of, some of y'all are going to experience a massive ass download. Some of you all are also being enlightened regarding situations from the past. Some of you all are also, um, you're inhibiting the gift of astral projection. It's come through somebody. Some of y'all, especially those of you who have Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, or Pisces in your chart. Some of you all, the clarity is coming through your subconscious space. Spirit is saying some of you all also need to not be so codependent on finding your answers outside of yourself because you guys are really being enlightened. A lot of you guys are stepping into this, stepping into that deep philosophical energy during this time. A lot of light, are, a lot of light is going to be shed on situations, people, places, and things that is either going to be some type of um, preventing of your path is going to cause some type of prevention of your path going forward. Others of you are also going to be enlightened regarding other people and their intentions. Okay. But some of you all, there's a need for you all to trust in everything that you cannot see during this time because there are hidden blessings, baby, that you guys are not going to get right off bat. But I definitely feel that. Yeah. Certain, there, some of y'all are resisting ending a situation as well. You need to trust the vessel. Allow, pretty much allow spirit to speak to the vessel. Connect with the God, a goddess that lives within you, and allow yourself to become the vessel. Because some of y'all are catalyst to someone's transformation or awakening during this time, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Leo. The next message you guys got, you guys, is clairsentience, Archangel Ragio. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings. As they signify divine guidance. Some of you all also may have a connection to animals. Like some of you all may be in this space of feeling as if you're being stalked by nature. You're really needing to look up what your spirit animals, the spirit animals that are connected to you during this time. Because for some of you all, they are also your answers that you're needing as far as which way to move, how to move, what it is that you should be, what it is that you should be doing at this moment or at this present moment. For some of y'all, it's going to come through children, I'm hearing, as well as animals. Some of you guys are going to have some type of revelation around after around seeing some type of animal. For some of you all, I'm hearing an owl. Others of you, I heard a crane. Some of you all, I actually heard a a pigeon. Mm, now we don't know what a pigeon means. Some of you all, I heard a rabbit. Some of you guys, somebody thought that they couldn't get pregnant, but you're going to find out that with you going vegan, are you switching your diet? You changing your diet? Your body went through some type of somebody's also somebody also could have been had had some type of chronic gastric issues. I do see that miraculously miraculously leaving during this time. Oh, you guys got such abundant energy on you guys. Health, wealth, finances, emotional as well as spiritual. Clear sentence. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Some of you guys, again, are needing to go within yourself, okay? Some of you guys, there is also this activation of the heart chakra world. There could have been, um, you could have been having issues in the past with opening up to people, trusting, allowing yourself to actually be and live within the moment, okay? Some of you guys could have lost a brother, a father figure, a son. This person, you will, some of y'all are also going to be connecting with this person within the realms. I heard 4D. This person is going to assist you with facing your fears. For some of you all, this could have been a spouse that passed over. Some of y'all, this could also have been a little brother that passed over. This person could be anywhere between 25 and 34. This person could have passed anywhere between the last 2 to 11 years. Some of y'all, it's been months. Others of you, this could also be a mother figure, a grandmother figure. I definitely feel a heavy 
um, matriarchal figure here that's helping you. I feel like this person is being an influence into your life, and I feel like this person is influencing your life from the other side of the spectrum by this person needing your help and you assisting God in this person. It's like by assisting, by you guiding this person, you're learning about some type of ancestral cycle during this time. And for some of you all, you're realizing that I'm hearing chosen one. You are the chosen one to create this change or bring this blessing, bring a particular blessing about when it comes to your lineage or expansion within your lineage. Some of you all who feel as if you were infertile, this is why this child is like this. I'm hearing you. this child chose you. You're chosen. Others of you, there is some type of, a lot of you all may um, also be having some type of expansion happening or occurring within your sacral chakra. Others of you, it's your solar plexus. I definitely feel like this is going to bring that sense of momentum, okay? Some of you all are also needing to actually go in and do the inner work. Allow yourself to heal. Don't use work to cover up or resist this change, to resist the changes that you need to make. Or for that matter, be holding on to a damn job when you know you've grown beyond that damn job. You're worth more. You deserve more. You've been speaking all of this life into yourself and you think spirit is just going to allow you to stay mediocre. No. A lot of you all are going through a transformation both internal and as well as external. For some of you all, there is a lot of unexpected changes. And I feel like for some of you guys during this time, some of them may be uncomfortable. Others of you may feel as if you're being drugged in someone else's or being the, yeah, be, yeah, be, be cautious of being someone's karmic crutch, someone being the crutch of someone who is running from their karmic lessons or they're resisting this particular transformation or or, or pretty much co-creating with you during this period of transformation. For some of y'all I'm hearing this y'all dealing some of y'all dealing with somebody who's afraid to they're afraid they're afraid of what you're going to see. So this person may speak against or this person may project like fears or project ideas and thoughts or feelings your way, emotions your way that make you doubt yourself. There's no need for that, you guys. You guys are spiritually protected, okay? For some of you all your ancestors is on deck. Just some of y'all um you connect with spirit through your heart space when you get random thoughts. Some of you guys may also be experiencing ringing in the ears. This could also come around seeing, syn uh, seeing synchronicities of 111, 22, 222, 444. Things are being balanced out. There's this new sense of stability that's coming into your world that you're going to bring because I definitely feel like, of course, you guys like to see the best in people, but. If a person show you they ain't, they ain't shit, there comes a time when you got to believe them aqua babies, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful aqua babies? Some of them Venus as well as the cross watchers um, for the sign of Aquarius. Some of you guys also, um, yeah, some of you guys, this could be dealing with a marriage or a commitment. Someone is kind of, somebody got their damn toe in the water. They don't know how to, they're not 100% sure what it is that they want if they want to fully be committed, okay? For others of you, yeah. For others of you, you finding out that your partner um, could be a bit. Yeah, some y'all, there are, that truth is being revealed during this time. There's clarity about situations where truth was either omitted. I'm hearing missing piece, okay. Others of you, there could be some type of big ass blowout uh, regarding your family, okay, or or some type of documents around the family. For others of you, this could also be you going within and finding your peace. And other people is really trying to disrupt that shit during this time. And you really need to hold that. Maybe protect your peace. That shit's it. What did Nipsey say? When it costs me my damn peace, it's too expensive. Let's just you have. Yeah, some of you guys. Yeah, for those of you who are dealing with the sign of Gemini. Yeah, some of you guys could be separating from a Gemini or a Scorpio during this time. And some of you guys, there's some type of transformative energy trying to come into. Um, into some type of dynamic, possibly with the Libra. Some of y'all don't trust this person. You feel as if they're very manipulative. Others, you could feel that way about a Gemini. After quite some time of not talking to a Virgo, y'all, you could be hearing, yeah, you could be getting communication from this person. I definitely feel like someone, y'all, a Gemini or a Virgo is going to be very imperative regarding some type of truth or clarity that, that wasn't spoken and some type of commitment that assists you in releasing yourself, okay? I am hearing. Okay, I heard a uh, child's mother. So somebody could be secretly connecting with their child's mother, and this is why they're resisting the, resisting the union with you. Um, 
I definitely feel like it was a double-edged sword because somebody's child's mother or child's father is extremely manipulative and is threatening them not to let them see the kids if they don't have some type of like dealings with them. So if this person began to like close off or kind of get a bit distant or make you feel a bit abandoned, some of y'all could also be having dreams about this, okay? Yeah. For some of you all, there's some type of truth about somebody not 100% leaving someone out in the cold. I feel like someone was trying to, yeah, someone left somebody blindsided. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This could also involve a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, who needs to make a decision on if they're going to deal with someone from the past who they could possibly have children with, okay? Or if they're actually, because some of you guys, yeah. Some of y'all, this could also, yeah, they want to deal with somebody who they have children with and have a new beginning. Because I definitely feel like this person, this person feels some type of disconnection in energy with you right now. I feel like Aquarius, you just really just been kind of going within and finding your own damn creating your own damn chi, going with your own flow. It's not that you are not wanting to be bothered or that you don't have an interest in this person's ideas or how they feel about things. It's just more so that you're learning to trust your inner self. Some of you guys are learning how to hone your, uh, hone your abilities. Some of you are, there's a calling for you to get near water. Something about connecting with different, um, connecting with various audishas. Yeah. Others of you, um, if you're waiting on some type of truth and clarity regarding for those of you who've been manifesting the truth regarding a love situation, possibly dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, another Aquarius like yourself, someone is going to be a uh, complaint about why they've been distant. Someone also could be coming. Somebody is also, uh, and I just seen this in Virgo. Somebody could be getting clowned on social media. I feel like whatever truth was being resisted with coming out, it is going to be hitting the fan. For some of y'all, this could involve an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys could want to start something new with a fire sign, but this person has been resistant and you tired of fighting with their ass. You tired of investing with this person for them to stay, keep you in this space of limbo, being stuck. You're moving forward. Some of y'all moving forward possibly to a younger earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, where I do see the relationship will actually be harmonious, okay? Whoa, scared me. That scared me. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Others of you, hmm. Others of you are dealing with the sign of Scorpio. You could be finding out about a third party situation or getting some type of final clarity about a third party situation from the past. I feel like this person, you are another person. What some of y'all are dealing with two soulmates. Some of y'all are dealing with a water sign, needing to make a decision between a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who could be somewhat new to you, and someone from your past that's wanting to come back and reconcile who could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like with this fire sign, for some of you all, this could be a, that's a pat, this person is a past life soulmate. Others of you, this person is actually your twin flame. I feel like where there was no contact, as soon as you decide to, yeah, walk away from the situation, cut the damn cords, here come this person with their shenanigans. For some of y'all, this person is actually, I'm here in rehab. Some of y'all, this person actually disappeared because they went to some type of rehabilitation program. It wasn't that they was ghosting you. They were trying to fix themselves, baby. They got them right, and they sorry, Aquarius, and they want to show you, okay? I am here, and let me show you. Yeah. Others of you are going to be communicating effectively, possibly with, a, with an Aquarius, with, a, with an Aquarius, with a, some of y'all could be an Aquarius, with the Sagittarius, where there was once drama and turmoil and someone making another person feel them abandoned, another person... Yeah, some of you guys feel as if you you want to move forward with the Sagittarius person, but you're afraid of repeating the repeating the same toxic ass cycle that kept you guys stuck and stagnant in the first place. And both of you guys dealing. I I, I heard mental chess. Yeah, Aquarius no longer is going to be allowing anybody to come in their damn realm and play, play mental chess with their ass. Some of you guys, this person could have actually chose a Capricorn over you in the past, or possibly a Cancer person. But some of y'all just had to do with some type of bondage to us, some damn magic. Okay, some of y'all could have been, some of y'all twin flame could have recently released themselves from some type of bondage deal, and now this person's ready to take a leap of faith, and they want to tell you everything. Okay, some of you guys, there's some type of truth. You need, it, some of you guys just know what you know what you know. Some of you guys could have dreamt <clears throat> about some type of deception that could have occurred regarding a fire sign. I feel that for some of you all, you, your, in, your intuition is telling you something, but you don't have proof, or maybe in the past you didn't have proof. 
Someone is coming to bring you that proof. This person could, this person could actually be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like for some of y'all, you need to hold your temper because for some of you guys, somebody could be delivering petty truth is what I call it. Like you've been holding all these. And some of y'all, this could be a friend, okay? This could be someone who you call a friend or who you thought was a friend and you feel like this person has been distant from you. You finna find out why. Some of you guys really got people in your life that's very envious of you. And here you are minding your own business and your own damn groove and on your own damn vibe. And here this motherfucker go with their gossip. I'm also seeing some yeah, some of you guys got new love with a Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. Aries Leo sad, strong Leo vibes. I feel like this person could also it, it, for some of y'all, some of y'all dealing with somebody who's attached to somebody else or who's married. Or who is either in some type of long-term relationship. Well, I feel like this person is not happy, okay? But I feel like this person could actually stay for their children. This person also stays out of out of fear of the perception of other people. Yeah. But some of you all, you, yeah, some of y'all going to get some communication from a damn Leo, a Gemini, a damn water sign. Strong Cancer, strong Scorpio, that they have released themselves from a toxic situation. Someone, someone actually released that codependent ass vibe that they could have actually been coming with in the past. Some of you guys have a new beginning, a restart, a renewal in a family dynamic. For some of you all, you have a new love. Some of you guys could have met someone in the month of June and things didn't move forward because there was still closure or some type of karma that still needed to be sealed and dealt with. With this karmic partner, for some of y'all, you could be walking completely away from another Aquarius, um, a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Some of you guys, after moving away from this person, now this person wants to come and they want to renew things with you. This person has been getting all kind of signs, synchronicities. They just want to go to sleep, Aquarius. Some of you guys, you're dreaming of this person. This person is dreaming of you. Somebody, I'm hearing regret. Somebody is really regretting letting you go. You could have had financial struggles with them or stuck with them during some type of financial struggle in the past. And this person got on their feet and could have fucked you over when you really needed to know. I'm feeling somebody left somebody hanging. Somebody chose, I'm hearing lust and addictions over unconditional love in the past, which has created this barrier for this person. And I feel like this person is wanting to come back. And of course, I don't know if they want to be cool to come out of a bag on this motherfucker. But in a sense, keep an open mind and be willing to hear them out of prayers because for some of you all, you're going to receive some type of different perspective different perspective from this person. Some of y'all, they was dealing, some of y'all, you had somebody that was dancing with the devil. They want to go chase the, they want to go chase the bag. And what ended up happening is that the bag swallowed their asses. Others of you, yeah, definitely, some of y'all could definitely be releasing yourself from a situation possibly with an earth sign. And moving forward with the fire sign. Some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries. That this person has been resisting you for quite some time. You could have a family with this person. Where well, this person was resistant. There's some type of relighting or a re a re-sparking of a flame. This person is now coming out of resistant mode. But for some of y'all it's because this person is getting intuitive hits. That you can ready to move on to this new love. Or they could have actually. They could, some of y'all. Some of y'all, you may have a run in with the child, with your child's father and your new boo, and they salty, salty Aquarius. When I say they salty, they salty, salty Aqua babies. Yeah, some of y'all got a new beginning. Others of you, you're gonna hear something positive when it comes to a business, a business investment. Okay. Others of you could also be getting some type of promotion at work. You could be getting a higher position. For those of you who are already in existing relationships, who've been in long-standing relationships, especially if you're dealing with an herb sign, Capricorn, strong Taurus. As soon as you thought you had released the situation, some of y'all, you get a, a surprise engagement. I'm sorry I ruined it, but listen, that's what I see. Somebody was wanting to, somebody has been waiting to get some type of confirmation regarding a home. Maybe the, maybe you were told that your home wouldn't be ready until October, the end of October. Or you had to wait until the end of October. I actually see that, yeah, you're going to be receiving some communication that this home actually may be ready toward like the middle of September or the first week of September. But you're going to be hearing about it either this week or going like ending August going into the first week of September. 
Some of y'all is releasing the idea of waiting on somebody to make a damn decision. You decided, fuck it. I'm I'm the damn glue. I'm the key and the motherfucking lock. Yes, yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys are meant to be the tower in someone's life. Because they couldn't end this in a particular cycle. Someone wanted to hold on to you and another person. And Aquarius like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose to make the decision for us. And when you choose to complete this particular cycle, I definitely see growth, expansion, balance coming back to your world. You releasing this sense of feeling as if you got to look over your shoulder. Facing your fears with this fear of the unknown. For some of you all who are dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for some of you all, you are seeing aspects of your shadow self during this time through this person when it comes to self-sabotage, possibly expecting the worst out of situations. For some of y'all, this person is projecting negative energies on you. I don't know what the hell a dog, a dog. Some of y'all could also be dreaming. Some, someone could have separated from someone or someone could have like lost a dog. There's going to be some type of clarity coming from either a brother or sister that passed over, a loved one that could have crossed over. This could also be coming from your higher self in the subconscious because for some of you all, certain things haven't been sitting right with you all. And there is, again, that truth comes from you, your inner self, your inner voice. Okay? Let me pull some of these regular playing cards. What's your best advice for Aquarius? For those of you dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like finances could have been an issue for some of y'all with this person in the past. Or some of y'all, you're dealing with someone who has a lack mindset, so they feel as if they're supposed to work, 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 just to end up with nothing. You feel as if you were a, a second priority to this person's job. Some of y'all could also find out that this person could, could have been messing with somebody in the past. After Some of y'all going to find out the reason why somebody really got fired. Somebody lied to you about why they got fired. But some of y'all is because this person was dealing with somebody at work. Others of you are self-sabotaging a new beginning. Period, point blank, when it comes to dealing with a fire sign. This could be someone who you went to school with, who you've known for quite some time. This is going to be like a new fire sign. I feel like you and this person could have been friends. Some of y'all could be friends with someone and actually find yourself like, Crossing that damn line with this person during this time and actually finding out that you have a connection with this person. So what message is, what's your, uh, what's the best outcome for, for this, this advice? Yeah, for some of you all, Spirit says stop, stop resisting an offer from a, from that younger earth sign, whoever that's for. And choose to heal, amend the situation or some type of family situation with the fire sign. And either choose, make a solid decision on if you're going to lay the whole situation to rest and cut it off, or if you're going to, if you're able to set healthy boundaries. Because some of y'all, either you, this is you or another person, you don't want the situation, but at the same time, you're having a hard time with letting it go because someone, I'm hearing high hopes, someone had high hopes and expectations on how they wanted something to go. Some of you guys, there's this, yeah. So a lot of you all are needing to really listen to positive affirmations during this time. Some of you all are going for positions and jobs, or you're waiting to hear back from a job, and I definitely see that it's going to be positive for you, but you're thinking the worst, okay? Others of you, you also may be dealing with children and with bullies during this time. Some of you guys are really needing to balance out work and home life and really have conversations with your children, especially if you have a water sign child. Or fire sign, a kid. Aries, Leo, Sag. Or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, baby. You're inheriting gifts that this that your, that your child have right now as well, which is why you're being called to go in this space of solitude. So that you can see situations, circumstances, for what they are to assist you in completing this last aspect of this particular cycle for some of you all in order to go into this new one where there's wealth, abundance, happiness, as well as that security within self, and you not needing that validation outside of yourself from other people in order to be happy, all right? So, you guys, this is what I have for you all. You guys let me know how it resonates. I love you, Aqua Babies, and I will see you guys back for the month of September. Peace, love, light, namaste. Bye, y'all. Bye, babies.